and welcome back on the show today. Today on the show with us is uh, a creative director, the creative director actually of Image Easy Web and Graphics. He's a freelancer, web graphic designer, and also a web administrator. Ike Nana Boy is here with us to share his own side of the story concerning web graphics and designs. Welcome on the show. Well, thank you very Good much. Good to have you, Ikena. Thank you. Well, we're starting to see, when, when we, we talk about web design, you know, graphics in mm -hmm. particular, we're looking today at, we're not just going to stop the conversation at web and graphics, we're looking mm -hmm. at the, maximizing the internet, you know, okay. maximizing opportunities okay. um, that come with IT as well. Let's look at, let's start with graphics, however. And um, when we talk about graphics, what does it entail? Many times we think of flyers. For me, the first thing I think of is flyers. So you have it in flyers. But I'm sure that there's more to graphics than that. Well, well, when you talk about, as you just said about flyers, if you're going to talk about graphics, just taking images, text, and what have you to put together one particular image that delivers a message, a maximized message for something you're try trying to convey. Maybe you're trying to sell a product online. You can't just put a picture of the product. You're just putting text, probably or somebody holding the product, or something that describes that product, essentially getting people to want to buy that product. That's where graphic designing comes in. Amongst other things, people could just wish happy birthday to a um, colleague, friend, family, nice. or something. It's just about bringing stuff together in one image and delivering your message in the best way possible. Okay, so I know that it involves a lot of creativity for you to do that. Yeah, typically. So, a lot of people try not to involve the creativity, but yeah, there's a lot of creativity. creativity so how do involved. you handle, you know, being creative concerning different um, needs of different clients uh, at the same time? <laughs> somebody wants a graphic design for uh -huh. maybe a business invitation or somebody wants one for a birthday party or different things. How do you do it? What are the things you put in place? I know it involves mind game, of course, but what else? Well, it's good to know the trend of the season. Um, it's also good to know uh, what is raining within that period, pretty much the trend as, as well. But with clients, you can never read their mind, and clients have different needs. So it's a good idea to see something that they've worked with before, to know what they like and what they do not like. And it helps you streamline to satisfy their customers and the clients as well. So now let's look at, when it comes to flyers, there's some flyers you look at and you're thinking, hmm, mm. I see. And there's some you look at and it just rings tacky. Mm -hmm. So how do you decide what, what looks, what colors, you know, what shapes, what sketches, and, you know, you put together to create the graphic design that you want? Is this something that you do by yourself you, or is this something that you do in consultation with the client? It's mostly the clients. It's supposed to be the clients anyway, but most times you have clients who don't even know what they want. You just want to just design something for me, surprise me. <laughs> and then there are the ones who are perfectionists that want something particular. Then there are those who just want to confuse you. They want something particular. They don't know what it is. So you go in, you try different colors. Some people like, like you said, tacky designs. Some people actually like the tacky designs. So I find myself in a situation where I have to do a design that I don't like, but just satisfy the clients. We come to a kind of compromise. This is good for your business, but since I know this is the way you like it, Let's come to a compromise and do something about it. Okay. And how long, on the average, does it take to design um, graphics in flyer? It, it depends on the content. Okay. If it's a flyer, if all the content is ready, if the client has all the content ready and knows exactly what they want, it can help to be done. I could help. I could have it done in say maybe two hours, one hour, mm -hmm. two hours. Sometimes like. But then there's also the send to them, the acknowledge, or they say I don't want this. Let's change this, and the whole changing and deciding could take longer than that. Okay, so um, graphic designs and web designs, is there any relationship between the two? Well, or? web design is on a larger scale. It's about mm -hmm. the internet. You're putting a website. It's like you're creating an office space on the internet. Graphic mm -hmm. design is under web design. Okay. You could have graphics on your website. You want it to look nice and flashy, or you could just put in pictures as you like, or just text. But usually, graphic design comes under web design, but web design is just, it's more, it's broader, it's broader than um, graphic design. Okay. And what, what opportunities abound when it comes to one who wants to forge a career path in IT, you know, web design, graphics, what are the opportunities that abound? Yeah, well, there are lots of opportunities, it's just, the problem is, um, I wouldn't say our country hasn't really opened up to it like that, but there are lots of opportunities, networking, uh, network engineering, um, web development, like we just mentioned, um, systems engineering, there are so many opportunities that abound. You could pr practically work anywhere in schools, hospitals, as long as the community is willing to open up to ICT. There are 
opportunities abound. Like recently, I have been freelancing for an institution that needed um, to expand their classes from just in-room, in-class um, um, studies to actual online studies. So okay. yes, that was also an opportunity. Oh, okay. Amongst others, a spa needed to have their clients book online. I did that for them. And before you know what's going, they, have, they, they, could, they actually had um, clients booking from South Africa before coming to Nigeria. Like, we need a place to just chill out and have fun. Oh. So, yes, it's open to all, even market people, everybody, anybody. A barber shop can have a website and uh, amongst other things. But yeah, the, the, the market's open for ICT. All right, now let's look at the creation of a website as well. Mm -hmm. So what are the first things? So I come to you and I say, oh, I want to create a website. What are the information that I need to have? And why is having a website very important? It's nice. It's like, I'm pretty sure you have a Facebook page. I'm pretty sure you have an Instagram account. We have these things for ourselves. But why can't your business, your business should be an entity of its own. Why can't your business have an online presence? Okay. which is where the website comes in. There are five major um, branches of digital marketing, um, search, um, search engines, right. um, sites. We're going to be going deeper this time around into information technology. Basically, let's see what happens around the internet. Now, you've mentioned to us why we need to have a website. There are many people who assume that for you to have a website, you should either be a business person no. or a celebrity. How true is that? It's not true at all. If you could have a website for... Um, a simple thing like, I wouldn't exactly say Baba is a businessman. He could have a website where he just shows his cuts, a portfolio if you like. Having that website online puts him in a different, not just a Facebook or Instagram account, but gives him a different kind of presence online. Somebody making a movie could think, I'd like to have this special kind of haircut and finds that particular haircut mm. or something close to it on his website and say, okay, here, come and walk um, costume and makeup on my um, uh, uh, on my shoots or something like that. Everybody should have a website. Well, not everybody can afford one, even though it's quite cheap. But depending on what you need to do, models should have websites for their portfolios. Um, graphic designers typically. Uh, people selling. Can, anybody can sell online. You don't necessarily have to go to Jumia. You could have your own specialized store and still sell your stuff there. Okay, so I'm happy you mentioned cost already because I was actually going to ask you a question mm. about cost. A lot of people have complained that one reason why they can't um, or they, they, they don't have websites yet is because they feel it's cost heavy, mm. that it's expensive. So, averagely, how much would it take to actually get uh, a website up if an average business person wanted to get one? It depends on what you want to use the website for. Okay. But truth be told, very basic truth is that if you get enough information from the internet, all you have to spend in Naira is somewhere around, um, let's say, neighborhood of 10,000 Naira to do it yourself. Okay, so now, when you're talking of websites, are we talking about, you know, the websites or are we talking about like WordPress or Blogger? What, in fact, what is the difference between all of these sites? They are all sites. They are all sites. Different hosting sites. Yes, um, not hosting per se. Hosting is the space online that your website files are stored. If somebody tries to call up your website, like the website of this organization, for example, the hosting is where the files for that website are stored. Now, the website itself could be created by different software. In the past, we had older software and present now, People have come together, thought a lot, and taken the work of thinking outside the box for us and put everything inside the box, like you mentioned WordPress. Mm -hmm. So if you have sufficient knowledge, you could go online, look for WordPress, install it in your hosting space, and create a website very easily without even knowing coding. Something people find daunting about um, web creation is that, oh, I have to go and study coding. It's not necessarily <laughs> true. Mm -hmm. um, I know very little. I know, well, I wouldn't say little, but I know some coding but not like mega big that makes me like a superstar in coding. But even with that, I've been creating websites for people. It also helps to be creative because if you have a creative mind, mm -hmm. you can go online and create a website that actually appeals to people. Okay. Plus, it also WordPress, like you mentioned, I'm going to, I think I'm going to have mentioned that a lot because it's one of the best online, is that um, it allows you to create very easily without making too many mistakes online that make people makes your site on uh, makes your site not user friendly okay amongst other things like that but it's quite easy to make one quite
question, what you're paying a graphic designer for essentially is just um, to make it look good right. and user friendly. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. We, Thank we you so really much for being um, on the show today. had an enlightening conversation with Ike now with regards to hosting. How can people follow you on social media? Um, I am um, on Talk to Naps personally, but my business handle is at Image Easy, as easy with a Z. Image okay. Easy. All right, all right. Thank you so much for joining us. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.